It's the visit with a person of high strangeness. I hope you're having a great summer. Well, we're kind of winding down, but that's okay. I was really happy with our situation here, considering how bad the weather was all through the country. And uh, when we're in the middle of a situation like weather or anything like that, uh, it's kind of hard to live through there. And really soon it becomes a memory. And so, uh, for those of us that live in Washington State, Mount St. Helens is a memory. Uh, if you remember, it erupted in, uh, oh, what year was it? Two, <laughs> 80, I think it was. No. Now, come on, Lillian. It was 20, 25 years ago, the first time it, it erupted. And um, it was in May. I should have done my homework. You see what I mean about memory? It's like an elephant story. Everybody remembers something different. Well, anyway, on the 20th anniversary, uh, one of my camera people at that time, and uh, and a teacher, a uh, English teacher, living in Slovakia, that was uh, an intern with me. Uh, they were here, and so they decided to go to Mount. St. Helens at the time when it, um, the 20th anniversary of the eruption and they came back with this wonderful footage and <laughs> the camera per person kept saying that's the mountain and that's the mountain and and uh, I thought to myself that's really irritating I don't know what to do with this so I sat on it well a few years later actually four years later it erupted in 80 because in 2000 they went up to do the 20th anniversary so anyway, um, my niece and my son and other members of the family were here in the winter time. So they went up there and, um, and brought back wonderful footage. And so what I thought I'd do, I'd turn it into a movie type thing and show you Mount St. Helens in different stages. Um, it was several years in between. Now, I, I want to tell you about a, a, there's a part in the footage where the gentleman in uh, in 2000 he looks down into the valley and at the same time uh, four years later my son looks up and it's in this I like they're looking at each other now what happens is that was just one of those freak things that turned out really really wonderful it wasn't done on purpose but anyway, for those of us that have forgotten about Mount St. Helens, uh, I thought I'll take you there and um, flip you around in the seasons a little bit. So that's where we're going, Mount St. Helens. Enjoy. And the mountain looks like it's starting to rumble. And it's rumbling now. And it is blowing now. Look at that baby go. My, oh my, oh my. There's a big wind here right now and it's pretty hot. But we're getting the mountain as she goes. And 20 years to the moment. 832. Year 2000. And would you look at the cloud of ash going up. My goodness, we're going to zero in here a little bit closer. And there's the mountain blown away. And that's one ridge. The other one right behind it. I'm going to back up here a little bit. Now if we can uh, get Mr. Fox to turn around, there he is, and there is that Mr. Fox fellow at the mountain. Hello. That is him. And you really, you 
really have to be here to appreciate just how spectacular it is. There is the Mount St. Helens, and you might like to try to uh, anticipate another 1,300 feet on top of that to be a cone. Like a cone. Yeah. Oh, it looked over many square miles east of here. The valley is desolate. Ridge, looking at the mountain ridge. We're almost looking into the mouth of the crater right now, and you can see the dome there. And this is the mountain. We're at Coldwater Ridge viewpoint, and we. Uh, Oh, this fellow here, this is somebody we recognize. And, uh, that's the old fox, and we're gonna just come right on down the, into the valley here. We're gonna pick up Coldwater Lake here momentarily. There's the Coldwater Lake. Coming right on up the lake here. We'll stick to an edge. Okay, right now we're picking up the one end of Coldwater Lake. We're gonna back out here just a little bit. We we'll get a little more scope of the lake. And we're gonna follow the lake on up to our left, which goes right up here. It's a nice long lake. Not sure just exactly how long. That's the lake. This is some 200, I think it is 200 meters or feet above its original. Chipmunk in the second stump there. Let's see if we can get in and get him. Yeah, right center stage. Where'd he go? Uh, the little guy's right up on top there. There he is. You are the star, little fella. Okay, we're going, we're walking down a trail here. And uh, we'll get you back on camera here in a minute. Fox is going to go for another one of that chipmunk. That's it, folks. That's Fox and the chipmunk. the river here and momentarily 
We will have the mountain. some of the devastation. Blast down to the trees. River.
Oh, this is excellent. Good job to get all of this. Wächtner sind das Bäume. Then that way you're in it. I can film you. But in there, okay. Thank you. 
various parts of the country where we call it. But anyway, that's uh, me, maybe. Uh, in fact, King Size TV is up here as well as eight. Channel two out of Portland. ABC News. And there's KGW out of Portland. King Five's up here somewhere. King Five is actually from that one right there, I believe. They have a mighty tall tower in here. And they have the tallest tower here, as a matter of fact. You'll get right over here. There's that fox. He's looking over the mountain. Okay, here we are again, and we're at another viewpoint. And we are, according to a sign we saw a moment ago, we're currently five miles from the mountain. This is as we see it. So anyway, I want to be a little bit here. Pick up a little of the North Fork of the Two River. We're going to go back to the mountain. Looking right down the mouth of the crater, and we're just going to zoom right in there and get a look. See here, there's the dome. There's the ridge. How was that for memory? Uh, so anyway, I want to thank all the participants in this. It, it took uh, quite a bit of doing to uh, get all this done. The uh, I would say, uh, let's see, 2002, 3 and 4, uh, we had a producer named Clarence Moore. And what he did is he uh, produced a band, he, not the band, he did videos. Um, he did many shows with a group called uh, Planet Percussion. Now, people in Olympia are very familiar with them. They do the... Um, uh, procession of the species and lake fair and all these things and so some of us are very familiar with it and what it consists of they, uh, they invite people from the community to join the band and play so you have all ages and it's really really wonderful in some kind of way um, we forgot about them a little bit too so what I was thinking is uh, for the remainder of this show with permission, uh, uh, I'm going to share some of uh, Clarence Moore's uh, shows with you. We'll be just going to go along with Planet Percussion and play a few songs and uh, go down memory lane in that capacity. So let's see what else is there. There are no announcements. Uh, like I said, summer is almost over and it, it was really, really good. From what I understand, some of our lives have improved a little bit, even though we have a recession. Uh, we've managed to learn to reroute things and go shopping in a different capacity. And uh, if all goes well, um, we're going to be set for a little while here. So, let's see. Um, MySpace. If you go to MySpace, that would be MySpace slash Psygeria. P S Y G like George E R I A. Uh, you can actually watch some of these shows. Uh, we are loading them as fast as we can. Uh, there is an embedded code on there. You can pull, feel free to pull the code off and email it to your friends. Put it on your Facebook or whatever else you want to do. And um, because everything I do is a um, public. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. 
as public domain. That means please feel free to use it. I work too hard to um, restrict people from, from using anything that I do. And so, so feel free to um, share it with your friends from around the world. And so let's go right along with um, the percussion band here. And festival and I believe that everybody have rhythm inside their own soul while the heart is breathing beating that is also a rhythm when it is stopped the life is finished so
So I believe that rhythm is everywhere in the body. Today I'm playing with uh, <coughs> Marco Zonka on tabla. You have listened the solo part, the tiger part of tabla, first part. And now you're going to listen the, the soul part that what is combination between two instruments can be. We are not talking each other by face, by mouth. We are talking with our music. So, Raag, Charu Kesi for this session. Thank you very much.
how many times you guys have seen Al plays come down a couple of times to play a benefit for the procession. And uh, one of the really cool, cool things about what we do, if you look down at the slash group, all African rhythms, uh, no black guys in there. And, uh, but that's part of that goal of the procession is to put music and art in the hands of as many people as possible and to kind of do it for free. So just so you guys all know, like on Monday, 7 o'clock back here on Monday, that's our annual meeting where we get to plan all the music and dance workshops. So all you guys are welcome to come back, get involved in that participation. And then as far as Alpha goes, he's won two Junos, which is like the Grammys up in Canada. Uh, it's just traveled the globe as far as all of his, uh, his relationships go in music. Uh, phenomenal guy. And uh, plays a lot of music that's all about healing. And so, uh, so what Alpha's going to do, what we decided to do, because it's part of this rhythm fest, he's going to start talking about some different rhythms, the different rhythms of Africa. He's from Guinea and West Africa. So if you guys could... Uh, high end. High end? High end. Could you guys give a high end applause for Alpha Yaya Diallo? That's right. Thank you.
Jeff Parker and featuring some Mother Nature song in a song called Chant. It's getting towards evening. And this is one man's rendition of recounting the day. What's been, what is now, and what could be. But when it comes to a planet percussion show, you don't sit down. You gotta get up and dance. Because we feed off of you, your energy. When you're energized, we are energized. So get into a group, people.
this rhythm fest. We don't sit down on rhythm fest. I'll see you next week and then um, the great Randy Shaw is going to sing you out. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. And it is just me.